हेलो फ्रेंड्स आवर टूडे टॉपिक इज इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाय कॉन्केव लेंस इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज अ कॉन्केव लेंस व्हाई कॉन्केव लेंस इज नोन एज अ डाइवर्जिंग लेंस रूल्स नीडेड फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रे डायग्राम डिफरेंट पोजिशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर इमेज फॉर्मेशन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इमेजेस एट डिफरेंट पोजिशन लेट सी कॉन्केव लेंस कॉन्केव लेंस is known as a diverging lens concave lens with principal axis f1 f2 are the focuses of concave lens rays coming from object are parallel to principal axis after refraction they diverge they do not meet in a single point they goes away from each other but they appears to be coming from f1 so this refracted rays do not meet in a single point they goes away from each other this is known as a diversion of light ray a lens that causes a beam of parallel rays to diverge after refraction as form a virtual image is called diverging lens focal length of diverging lens is a negative some rules has to be followed for the construction of ray diagram rule number 1 a light ray traveling parallel to principal axis appears to be coming from principal focus f2 of the concave lens after refracting from lens this is the concave lens principal axis a ray coming from object is a parallel to the principal axis this is the incident ray after refraction as per rule it goes away from principal axis this is the diversion of light rays but it appears to be coming from principal focus f2 rule number 2 a ray of light directed towards the focus of concave lens become parallel after refracting through the lens a ray of light its a direction is towards the focus after refraction it becomes parallel to the principal axis this is the rule number 2 rule number 3 a ray of light passing through the optical center of a lens travels undiverted through the lens a ray is passing through the optical center so it passes through the optical center without any deviation same rule like the convex lens so these are the three rules if incident ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction it diverges and appears to be coming from focus f2 if incident ray is a directed towards the focus after refraction it becomes parallel to the principal axis when incident ray passing through the optical center it passes through the optical center without any deviation these are the three rules for the construction of ray diagram image formed by concave lens positions of object for the formation of image by concave lens object at infinity object at finite distance position of object at infinity this is the concave lens with a principal axis the rays coming from object object at infinity these rays are parallel to the principal axis as per rule after refraction they goes away from each other this is a diversion of light rays but appears to be coming from focus f1 position of image at f1 nature of image virtual and erect and size of image highly diminished position of object between infinity and optical center object between 2 f1 and f1 the ray coming from object ab is a parallel to the principal axis as per rule after refraction it diverges and appears to be coming from focus f1 another ray coming from object passes through the optical center without any deviation so where is the position of image the position of image a dash b dash between f1 and optical center so position of image between focus and optical center nature of image virtual and erect 
and size of image diminished so these are the different positions of concave lens the image formed by concave lens at any position is virtual erect and small in size